This time we are going to rationalize the denominator with a cube root in the denominator, 1 over cube root of 9. So how can we do that? Let me show you guys what's wrong first. Unlike the square root, if you just want to do, okay, multiply this by the cube root of 9, which is the same thing, right? Bottom and also do it on the top. And then you just say, okay, this is so easy because on the top you get the 1 times this, which is the cube root of 9 over this times that is 9. And you think, ah, this is it. That's so easy. This is wrong. Well, because you see, 9 times 9 is what? That's an 81 inside of a cube root. What's this? This is definitely not 9. So this right here is wrong. It should look at this and then write it down somewhere. And that should remind you, don't ever do this. And here is the right way to do it. So the reason that this was wrong is because we multiply by the wrong thing. Let's look at this one. 1 over the cube root of 9. Hmm. What are our perfect cube numbers? Let's write it down on the side, beginning with the cube root of 1, yeah? This is equal to 1. We never use 1, but it's a good start. Next, we know the cube root of 8. This is going to give us 2. Well, how do I remember this number? Easy, because I'm going to write down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, right? This is 2, and we just do 2 times 2 times 2. We get 8. The next one, I know I'm going to end up with 3, so I just have to do 3 times 3 times 3, and we know that's going to be 27. So that's how I can figure out the cube root of 27. It's equal to 3. And just for practice, the next one is 4. 4 times 4 is 16, times 1 more is 64. So cube root of 64 give us 4, and so on, so on, so on, of course. And now the question is, here we have 9 already. Can we just multiply 9 by a number so that it match with one of these? Yes, we know 9 times 3 will give us 27. And 27 is a perfect cube, right? So in fact, for this one, I'm going to multiply the bottom by the cube root of 3. And we do the same thing, bottom and also do it to the top, right? And we see that. On the top, we just have 1 times this, which is just the cube root of 3. That's it. On the bottom, let me just show you guys all the details, even though you know the answer already. Here, 9 times 3, they are both inside, which is going to be 27. And you take the cube root of this, cube root of 27, you know it's just a nice number 3. No more radicals. So, just nice. This is it. Cube root of 3 all over 3.